In this Exadata Cloud at Customer quick demo, we're going to look at how easy it is to upgrade the Oracle database home. First of all, we'll go back into our virtual cluster by simply getting into the Exadata Cloud at Customer cloud interface and drilling down on the cluster. When we get here, we can see many different things. We can see the databases that are in our um, virtual cluster. We can see the database homes that are in our virtual cluster. And if we drill down into the database home, we can see that it has a database available uh, created there. We can click on the patches and look at the different patches. So you can see here in cluster five, we have grid infrastructure, VM cluster patches uh, for uh, the January and October release updates. And we can see we have home database home patches as well. Clicking into the patch history, you can see that we've applied a patch and we've done a pre-check with the virtual cluster patching for this database home, but we haven't applied any patches to the database home itself. So within the database homes, we can choose one of our patch releases. Uh, you see here, we'll go to a release update for 19.8. And we will drill into that and go to the three little dots on the right hand side and do the pre check to validate that this is a valid patch. We click on pre check, and as we hit the, the uh, OK button there, we will go out and the pre check uh, will start running. You can see here when we go back to our patch history, there the Oracle Home, we see that the check is now being executed against the 19.8. July 2020 release. Um, so we'll wait for that pre-check to finish. You can see, you know, once again, it says checking for this cluster. We go into the virtual cluster. We see that it doesn't affect any of the databases or database homes while this is uh, being patched, but you can see that it is updating that, looking at the that database home. Um, once again, we saw in previous demos, we've seen the work request. If we click on work request here, we can see that it is indeed doing the pre-check for that database home. And we can watch the progress of that here. As we drill into this and look a little bit more in detail, we can see the time that this started uh, and the time that it ran. And as it completes, we'll see uh, that as well. And you can see a nice progress bar at the top of the screen that tells us the status. So once the pre-check is complete, we can see that it's 100% complete at this time. We can go out and look. That took about uh, 10 minutes to about eight minutes to do that pre-check. Uh, we can then go out and drill down in that cluster and actually apply that patch. So we go back to our database homes. We go back to the database home that we're looking to apply the upgrade to. Uh, we click view patches. And as we get in here, you'll see that we have the three available. We know that we've checked and we'll double check that we uh, passed the pre-check. You can see here, we look at the history. It's, it's been uh, completed and passed. Uh, so we'll now go and click on the three dots and hit apply the patch. We hit apply patch. And this starts applying the patch to each node in the cluster. It will start with node one and go to node two and then go to node three and then go to node four. So we'll click here on patch history. You can see that the patch is applying. Uh, if we go back and simply look at the patch, you see that the database home is now updating. Uh, at this point, it's turned yellow, so it's, it's updating. And at this point, uh, you can look at the database homes from the virtual cluster page, and you can see here that it's also showing that the database home is being updated. If we look at the work request for this database home, you can see that the patch process uh, is applying, and you can see the spinning wheel up here for the latest patch showing that it is actually applying. Uh, if we jump out real quickly to the uh, operating system, this is my Linux desktop, and we'll just do a little loop here and watch this as we see that DBSG uh, is not running on node four. That's instance two, we can see it's now stopped on node two as we patch node two. 
so basically what I'm showing you here is that we can uh, see that we have a rolling uh, mechanism for patching the different instances. So you can see uh, now it's, it's down on node three. Uh, and we once that's complete, we come back and we can see that the apply home patch has been completed. Uh, it did it in a rolling fashion. Uh, we did this in about, uh, it took about 40 minutes for the cluster to all four nodes to be patched. Uh, obviously, we jumped uh, through the patching. We showed you the rolling nodes much more quickly uh, by uh, by cutting the time there, but we we're able to show you the actual rolling fashion and that the Oracle database home has been completely patched at this point. If we go to the patch history, you can now see that we have for this database home, which we were uh, looking for or that we were working with, we were able to get that patch applied and let's see it's now available, we look at the past patch history, and it says that this has been applied. So with that, we have come to a completion of how we can upgrade uh, our database environment from 19.7 to 19.8. In this case, uh, the database nodes were uh, patched in a rolling fashion, and we were able to keep the database up during this time for activity. This concludes another quick demo.